Welcome to Behind the Badge. I'm your host, Chief David Malloy, Director of Public Safety for the City of Novi, and I'm very proud to have Captain Mark Tyson joining us today. Mark serves in our Fire Operations Division at the Fire Department. Mark, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me, Chief. Mark, why don't you tell the viewing audience a little bit about your background, your education, your history, and, and kind of how you grew up in the department. Well, I actually started uh, as a paid on call firefighter for Lyon Township in 2000, um, and then I uh, joined the, the great team of Novi in 2006 as a full-time uh, fire protection officer. Um, from there, I, I moved up the ranks as a lieutenant, and then my uh, current rank is a fire operations captain. Excellent. And, and your education? I know you have some additional education and training. Yep. I, I started my bachelor degree um, uh, several years ago at Columbia Southern, uh, Occupational Health and Safety, and I just recently got my master's degree at Eastern Michigan University for uh, emergency management and homeland security. Excellent, excellent. And I know as part of the Eastern Michigan proud tradition down there, their fire staff and command program, I know you've, you've taken on additional duties and responsibilities and you're now helping with that program. Yeah, that's a great program to help future leaders, uh, especially officers, chief level. Um, and we go through everything from budget to problem employees. Um, I like the program so, so much when I actually I started teaching there. So I'm an adjunct instructor and I help out at Eastern Michigan. Excellent. There's no better way of preparing our future than, you know, extending yourself and sharing your experiences, sharing your history, um, but preparing that next generation. So uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, tell the viewing audience a little bit about, we have a multitude of community programs here in the Novi Fire Department. Share with them how they could access that and some of the programs that we do offer. We, Chief, we have a ton of programs. Um, you can get them all at cityofnovi.org under the Public Safety tab and under the fire. Um, our main program that we like to push is our uh, car seat inspection program. This is this program, we don't just limit it to the Novi residents. We Anybody that comes through the city of Novi, we want to make sure that your child is safe and their ch uh, child seat is installed correctly. So once a month, we do a mass uh, over at Station 4. It's usually on a Saturday, and you can find all the information on our website. Um, you can also call us as well and schedule a car seat uh, program, and, and we'll install it for you. And if we have the certified trainers on duty, really, we could do those 24 hours a day. And, and really, it's at the, at, at the community members' leisure. Absolutely. And we want to make it as flexible as possible because it's such a crucial part of your, your, your vehicle. And I know our goal, we're, we're trying to shoot again for 2017, is to get 300. Um, I know we usually end up around 275, but that's almost one a day. And, and sometimes our inspectors are doing three, four a day. But uh, we really want to push that safety program because car seats are such an instrumental component of traffic safety. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's so many rules and regulations that we want to make sure that when you do put your child seat in there, it is correctly, and as your child grows older, we can move it appropriately. Absolutely. I know our smoke detector program is another big hit because our men and women, when we respond to incidents at homes, we, we oftentimes find that there aren't working detectors, and we will actually install those for free. Can you tell the viewing audience how they can access that? Yeah, and most everyone knows that you learn as a little child to test your smoke detector, but how many people actually do it? So what we like to do is we like to go and we want to make sure that your smoke detector not only works, but they're in the appropriate places. So if if you call us and say, hey, I just want my smoke detector checked out, not only will we evaluate the smoke detectors you currently have, but if you need a smoke detector, we'll install one free of charge. And that's a great partnership. I know we work with Home Depot and some of the other vendors throughout the community in, in obtaining those and uh, just one more level of safety that we're trying to implement. Absolutely. Uh, another level is uh, we, we do a couple different programs, a home fire safety inspection where we'll do, but also a senior fall prevention. Can you explain those to the audience? Because I know we have a lot of seniors that tune into this show. Yeah, so both our senior fall and our home inspections, are we, we like to do them together, um, but we'll do either one. Uh, what we like to do is we like to come into your home and just take a look around. And we want to look for any trip hazards, fall hazards, any electrical hazards that we can see. One thing that we don't do is we don't care if you have dust on your shelves. We don't care if your bed isn't made. We won't look under your bed. We don't look in your closets. We're just looking for safety issues only. So anytime we come in, it's very relaxed. It's, uh, we're just looking for any type of safety hazards that you might have in your home that you don't see because you go in there every single day. And just to put the viewing audience at ease, we don't share that information with anyone outside of the Novi Fire Department. So if you did some upgrades to your basement, we're not going to let the assessor's office know. Um, this is strictly to help 
prepare you and keep your home, number one, free from fall hazards, but also free from fire and any other type of danger. Right, and sometimes it just takes another person to come in there, trained as our firefighters are, and, and for another eye, just to take a look around and say, hey, you might wanna move this, or this might be a hazard in the future, um, just for some options. Excellent. Uh, Cap, I know another thing that you're instrumental in is uh, not only our, our, our apparatus in the fire service, but a lot of the equipment that we put on, and our city administration and our elected officials, our city council, our mayor have been very supportive of the fire service and, and public safety in general and we've added some enhancements in the last 16 to 18 months. Can you explain a little bit about the added equipment that we've received? Yeah, as technology changes, we always like to uh, let our administration know and let the city council know of upgrades that we can do, not only to help our firefighters, but also to keep our citizens safe. So one big upgrade that we did is we purchased new hydraulic uh, extrication tools. So before, when you ever hear of the jaws of life, there was always a hydraulic cord attached to it. Now these are all electronically battery powered hydraulic tools that are just as strong and just as fast as the old style Jaws. And so now we have no we have no risk of tripping over hose lines or anything like that. Everything and I kind of liken it to a wireless mouse. Everything there's nothing attached to it, but yet you have the same effectiveness. Yep. So we're allowed if someone's uh, in a, a car accident and they're down in a ditch or or somewhere that's far away from our apparatus, we can actually take the tools to them a lot faster than we would be able to before. Excellent, and another great upgrade that we just received in the last month, uh, tell the viewing audience about the newest uh, apparatus addition to the Novi Fire Department. So we just upgraded our engine two to a 2017 Sutfin um, a Monarch, which is a new fire engine. So little specs on that, it's got 1,500 gallons of water, 1,250 pump, all the latest technology and all the latest tools. Excellent, and I know that's gonna add another layer of protection, particularly in some of our areas where we may not have a large number of fire hydrants. Uh, it'll give our men and women the ability to operate on the fire ground in a safer, more effective fashion. Yeah, with 1,500 gallons and it also has a 30 gallon foam tank, we have a, a, a good fighting chance of any fire that we come across that we could put it out very quickly. Excellent. Uh, speaking of uh, enhancement, uh, with the, again, the support of our city administration and our city council, um, just recently we began staffing for Fire Station. Can you tell the viewing audience a little bit about that? This is probably one of the greatest things that uh, in my career that uh, we are uh, staffing every station 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, this has never been done before. So right now, Station 4 in July is now staffed 24 hours a day um, and we've seen a, an, a, a decrease in response time over over 35 seconds. That's outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. And then to do that we have to recruit. We have to continue to add uh, dedicated and brave men and women to our organization. Uh, tell the viewing audience what we're looking for in terms of that. We are looking for anybody, men, women, that are that want to be part of our team. We have a growing organization and we need as many people as we can get. So we're always hiring paid on call firefighters if you live within five miles of the city. We're also hiring auxiliary firefighters that you, you could live several miles away. So anyone that's interested or has the training, either we'll put you through the training or if you have the training, we would love to hear from you. And, and I know we have a growing staff. I think we're upwards of probably 75 paid on call and auxiliary firefighters. And if there's men and women who are out there and they want to earn an extra five, 10, 15, $20,000 a year, um, we need staffing on nights and weekends. And uh, we do have a dedicated group, which is really, I think we have one of the finest combination fire departments that you'll find in this state, probably the region and maybe even in the country. Um, and a lot of that's attributed to people like you. Um, your dedication, your service is, is, is most appreciated. So thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks for appearing on Behind the Badge with us again today. And to you, the viewing audience, thank you for tuning in to Behind the Badge. And until next time, continue to watch Novi Television.